What's up, what's up, everybody? I am here to answer your questions about transmagnification, transma, transmogul, trans, transmogrification. Okay, what is transmogrification? It's basically a very long-winded way of saying extra sassy special outfits like Kim Kardashian. So you're going to be able to Kim Kardashian all of your monsters in Summoner's War. Uh, let's let's talk a little bit about what are the benefits and drawbacks to doing this. Well, the benefits are nothing. And the drawbacks are like oh, it's, it costs money. Okay, there's going to be actual no stat increase to changing your outfits. It's just going to be all visual. You're not going to change any damn thing. They're not going to make them stronger. They're not going to make them extra skills. Nothing. It's just going to be completely just if you want a new outfit for your character, spend money and get that new outfit. How do I feel about this? I think it's great. It's not necessary. It doesn't give you any advantage whatsoever. And it's nice for players that have played the game for so long. And they're like, you know what? I really just want another outfit for I'm tired of seeing the same monsters look the same way. Maybe a little fresh coat of paint. I, I will probably spend money on this. I will most like... I fine, I will spend money on this. Damn you, come to us. You got me once again. I will spend money on this. So I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, another thing, in addition to... N you're not just going to be able to get new outfits for them, but you're going to be able to uh, roll them back to their previous unawakened styles. They're still going to have the same skills. There's a lot of people that are like, Oh, I don't want to make him not as powerful. Like, no. They're still going to have the same skills. It's not going to make them any weaker. You're just going to be able to roll them back visually. And I know there's some people that like the... Um, that have Trevor, and they're like, you know, I really like his old form better, like his unawakened form, because he looks a little bit more badass with the beret and everything. So you're going to be able to do that. There is a slight advantage, I think, and I think I'm... It seems like I'm alone in thinking this, because no one else had a problem with it. Not a problem, but no one else really voiced their opinion on it. I think it might be a sneaky little way to get people to underestimate you in PvP, in arena or in guild battles if you see monsters that look unawakened you're gonna assume I would assume that they're gonna be an easy battle and an easy win and I'm gonna underestimate what they're capable of mm-hmm so you might be tricked into taking the wrong team if I'm looking at unawakened monsters that's just what I'm gonna think I'm gonna think man maybe this person didn't have if they're putting unawakened monsters in their defense, maybe they didn't have the time to grind for essences or get good runes. So I'm gonna, um, that's just my uh, my assumption on there. So, so making them making them look like they're unawakened, there could be an actual strategic advantage to that. <sighs> when are these going to happen? Okay, these are not not every monster. There's a thousand. There's almost a thousand monsters in the game at this point. There's like nine hundred and something at the time that I'm making this video. So I believe there's nine hundred. There's around nine hundred and fifty, I think. So they're gonna do they're gonna do them gradually, like probably every month, every couple weeks, or every month they're gonna roll out new outfits with uh, each update. So you're not gonna maybe you have Vela Jewel and you're like I want a new outfit for Vela Jewel and you have to wait like four months for them to do the update that has Velajul in it. But it's going to be cool either way. It's going to be cool to get them eventually. And it's nice that they're rolling them out every so often. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm very excited. So we got to see some of these uh, new outfits for these transmogrified uh, monsters. These Kim Kardashian-style monsters. <laughs> Kim Kardashian-style monsters. And I did take the... Um, I did take it into Photoshop just to lighten it up a little bit. I took the image from the the live event. I lightened it up a little bit so you can see the outfits a little bit better. Hope you guys enjoy it. Here you go. So we can see on the left the new Asasis. She looks like a Greek goddess. Very pretty. Oh, lovely. I'm not sure if I like the bangs, but that's just my personal preference. That's my personal preference. All right. But she looks much cooler. I want to use her more already just because she looks... She, girl looks hot. Damn, girl! All right. And then we have uh, the new Vertiheel, which... Badass. I want to use... I Now I want to use Vertiheel. I already use Vertiheel all the time, but I want to use him more now for some reason. Just straight out of Castlevania, man. Oh, so nice. 
And we have the new Shannon, which she looks like a little. She's got if you uh, there's an arrow. I put the arrow right in the way instead of. Uh, but she's got a drum. She's like a little drummer girl from a marching band, I guess, which is interesting. Uh, then we have the new Tyrant, which is like Cyborg Tyrant from Metal Gear. Uh, from like Metal Gear Rising or Vengeance, I guess. That looks pretty awesome. He, he really looks awesome. I would totally change my Tyrant. And we have the new Rauk, the Fire Unigami, which also looks pretty badass. But I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a an up close and brightened version of what we saw in the in the live stream. So I hope you guys are excited as much as I am about this. Looks really cool. And just to answer, uh, to, to answer, to go over the transmogrification, if you guys didn't already know. So like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next transmogrified video where I finally wear something else instead of a beanie. What would I wear? Cake. I would wear a cake on my head. Yep, I'll see you in the next video where I transmogrify myself and wear a cake on my head.